I'm Nancy Weingartner, and I'm speaking today to Steve Caldera, who is the president and the CEO of the International Franchise Association. We're at the convention, and he's going to tell us a little bit about some of the new initiatives that IFA is doing. Our attendance is up nearly 10% from last year. We're just uh, shy of 3,000 folks, um, which is close to a record for the IFA. So we're very pleased, uh, given the economy. You know, we're still working through a sluggish economy. Um, but that's good news, and I think that means hopefully the economy's taking a turn, um, and so, and, and I think folks are wanting to get back out there. The credit spigot is starting to loosen a little bit. There's still a long way to go, uh, but yet there are still plenty of regulatory issues and legislative issues that we're working on uh, in terms of health care. What are the costs going to be for our members? The need for comprehensive tax reform, both corporate and individual. Many of our members are LLCs and S corps. They run their income through their business. So uh, it's important uh, that the president speak about corporate tax reform, but we need it in conjunction with individual tax reform uh, because in already a, a, a very sluggish economy, a tight economy, margins are already tight and, and, and being pressured. Um, and if their individual tax rate goes up, that's really going to put even more pressure on these small businesses, and we just can't afford it. We made a great announcement on Veterans Day. We launched um, Operation Enduring Opportunity, which is our commitment as an industry to hire and recruit 75,000 veterans and 5,000 wounded warriors by the end of 2014. So we're working very closely with the White House and the First Ladies Joining Forces Initiative, as well as the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Hiring Our Heroes program. So we, for the first time, have a vet friend pavilion just to, uh, on the other side uh, where we are today. And um, we have the White House involved, we have the Secretary of Defense's office involved, we have the VA involved, um, and many of the great companies that are involved in our VetFran program. We now have almost 450 companies that are involved in VetFran, which offers financial incentives for veterans to become small business owners. So we're very excited about that. What about international? I understand that you're doing a lot more in the international area Well, we are. Um, Seventy percent of our members either are doing business internationally or like to do business internationally. We have 270 companies doing business internationally. So we're, we're trying to ramp up uh, uh, resources and tools that will make it easier for U.S.-based companies to do business abroad. As you're well aware, uh, we just did a trade mission in conjunction with Franchise Times and the U.S. Commercial Service Division within the U.S. Department of Commerce, 19 U.S.-based companies in Vietnam and Indonesia, very successful. So we're going to continue to do more of that. Uh, as you know, the world is uh, uh, getting, uh, uh, through technology and uh, the global economy, it's become a, a smaller world, really, in terms of doing business. So we need to stay out in front of that in order to provide the return on investment value add that our members uh, expect and, quite frankly, deserve.